Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Today's video brings us out to Quakertown, Pennsylvania to take a look at something pretty awesome. If you guys are out here in the Quakertown, Pennsylvania area, you have to stop by the studio of Steve Tobin, world-renowned sculptor. This is the Tobin Studios, and look at all the cool and amazing sculptures you can actually see out here on the grounds. This is just the, the parking lot area, and there's a ton of awesome stuff out here. Look at this sculpture made out of animal bones, I believe dipped in metal. These are really Really cool, really kind of freaky looking and totally awesome. Those are amazing. Every time I come out here, I've actually been out here a couple of times, there's always some new sculptures. So clearly, clearly they're still doing a ton of work out here. Look at these little like weird ones here. I'm, I'm digging these as well. There are a lot of really interesting, a lot of really cool sculptures out here. And you can just walk around the grounds and actually check all these out, which is really, really neat. I like the fact that all this stuff is outside. You can come out here, you can check all of it out. It's really cool. Look at this one. I have no idea what this is. Maybe you do. Leave a comment down below. Maybe it's not supposed to be anything. Maybe it doesn't represent anything. Maybe it's just a piece of abstract art. I have no idea, but that is actually really, really awesome. So again, you can actually come out here to Quakertown, Pennsylvania, to the Tobin Studios, and you can check out all the different and unique and bizarre and wacky and crazy and totally awesome sculptures that are out here, including giant balls of bones. Look at that. I'm digging the ones of bones. These are really, really cool. The goth in me is digging the bone sculptures. These, I believe, are supposed to represent people dancing, if I'm not mistaken, or people just intertwined or something like that. Very, very cool. And look at how large some of these are. These are gigantic sculptures. Look at this one. This is insane. Huge, huge, gigantic sculpture here. And this isn't even the biggest one. We're gonna see some bigger ones on the other side of the studios in a little bit. These are just too cool. This one here, I believe, is made out of a root system. In fact, I think his most famous Sculpture is actually made out of a root system from a tree that was at 9-11. I believe it actually saved some people. The tree actually saved some people from being hit by rubble, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think this is the actual sculpture, but it's one of them. That's really, really cool. Look at this one here. They have all kinds of different letters. Look at that. I believe these are all like typewriter letters, maybe. That is so cool. So if you're into art, this is definitely something you wanna check out. It's free to check out. You just come out to the studio, you can walk around the grounds, you can check out all the really awesome and amazing sculptures that are out here. And like I said, some of these are just huge and they are gigantic. And other ones are just epic, like this one here. Again, it's another ball. This one also being made out of, I believe, letters and numbers. How long do you think something like this took to put together? I have no idea. I do not have it in me. I was a photographer. I did do some sculpture. I did do some painting back in the day back during art school, it was fun. But uh, for me, it was always about the instant gratification of a photograph. That's what I used to do, I used to take photos. So I never really got into like metalworking or anything like that. I can't even begin to imagine what goes in to putting some of these together. But they are so cool, they're so awesome. As you can see, some of the companies across the street have actually taken some of the art and put it into their field. I mean, I, I believe it was probably just donated. I can't imagine, well, maybe they paid for it. I have no idea if they actually paid for the art or if it was donated. If Steve Tobin was like, hey, can I put some of my art in your field? And they said, yeah, sure, go for it. I have no idea, but it's really cool to see not only stuff here actually in the fields, but over in the fields of the other companies as well. So again, guys, look at all these. So many different sculptures out here. There's actually a really cool train on the side of this, uh, this studio here. So if you're into old antique trains, I mean, this is pretty cool as well. I'm actually freaking out slightly more over the old antique train that I am the sculptures because you guys know how much of a sucker I am for old antique trains. Look at this. That is pretty awesome. So just a little extra bonus. If you guys do come out here, you can check out all the really cool sculptures and you can check out the really cool old abandoned train next to the studios. Look at these. These are too cool. Again, they are huge. They are gigantic. And again, we haven't even seen the largest one yet. That is on the other side of the studio. But you can walk right underneath these. You can get up close, you can touch them. They are very warm, fair warning about that. Look at the train again, I know, I know. I should stop freaking out over the trains. Start freaking out over the art pieces a little bit more, but still very cool. Look at this one. This one's got all kinds of stuff sticking out of it. So cool. I'm loving all this stuff, guys. This is so neat. So I've been out here, like I said, a couple of times before, and I believe each time I've been out here, there's always been some new sculptures, stuff, stuff, something I haven't seen before, so they're always adding new things to this field, stuff you can come out here and see. I believe a lot of these little like tiny squiggly ones are something newer. I don't remember seeing these before. I wanna say these are newer sculptures that were not out here. The last one was here maybe like a year or so ago. 
These are really cool looking. They actually take the time to mow the field so you can come out here and you can see all these. Look at this. This is just a bunch of, of iron or metal or something. Kind of looks like a giant termite mound. That is cool. I'm digging this one here. It looks like a, an explosion. It looks like a giant explosion of metal. Something you see from like Transformers or something like that. There's a wasp on that though, so I'm not gonna get too close to it because I don't know if there's a wasp nest on there or not. Don't want to find out. Look at all these. Again, don't know if these are actually to represent something or if they're just abstract pieces of art, but regardless, they are really cool looking. I love it out here, guys. This is so cool. There's a bunch of people actually pulled over. A lot of people are stopping to take a look at these and to actually get pictures with. I haven't actually seen anybody get out of their car yet though, which is kind of bizarre. Since I've gotten here, about 15 other cars have actually pulled up and parked over here on the side of the road. Not one person has actually gotten out and walked around the field yet. I don't know why, it is a little warm out. I'll give them that. Maybe they don't feel like sweating. Maybe they just feel like taking some photos from the comfort of their air conditioned car. And if that's the case, again, I don't necessarily blame them because it is really, really warm out today. And walking through this field, it's a little nuts. Kind of wish I had some water with me. I'm starting to get a little parched. Part of my, part of my um, salivating and my, my, my dry throat right now. Look at, look at these. These are definitely new. I do not remember these from the last time I was here. So the largest sculpture out here is right here. This is really, really epic. Look at this thing. That is huge. That's gotta be at least, I'm thinking three, four stories tall. I'm trying to like think of my house. That's gotta be like four stories tall. That's how tall this is. It is huge, it is gigantic. They do ask you, I believe, not to climb these things, but still look at that. Wow. That is too cool. These here actually used to be like crucifixes. They've been covered up. I'm not entirely sure why. I don't know if somebody maybe got angry, vandalized them, did something to them. For some reason, the crucifixes are all, are all covered up. These are whole different things. I believe one had like a loaf of bread, one had like a sunflower, things like that. I think one had like a buffalo skull, something. They were all holding different things. Why they've been covered up, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if it was for, again, any kind of religious or political reasons, or maybe somebody was upset about them. I have no idea why, but they're all, they're all covered up for some reason. Here's another bone ball. The size of these is, oh my gosh, I'm, I like this one. It's like a slinky. This one down here looks like a pine cone. This is new. I don't remember this one from before. I just like walking through these, look at this. Just walk right through the giant metal slinky. Look at that, that is so awesome. <laughs> So again, guys, Tobin Studio here in Quakertown, Pennsylvania. You can come out here, you can check out all these really awesome and amazing sculptures. I'm really digging these explosion ones. These are just really, really cool. Look at that. I don't even know what these are all made out of. I mean, obviously these are like metal pipes. That thing in the middle is, I'm not entirely sure. I don't even know what these are made out of. I'm, get, I'm, get, I'm guessing just metal pipes welded together and bent into certain shapes. I'm not entirely sure. Look at this giant explosion as well. I don't know if these are to represent giant metal explosions, but that's what I, when I see these, I think giant metal explosions. You guys leave comments down below. What do you think of all these different sculptures? What, do you, what comes to mind when you see all these giant metal sculptures? Let me know. I guess maybe for interpretation, possibly. You can kind of take them as you will. There's a giant buzzard. Look at that. I'm not gonna get too close to him. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a big, look, oh, there he goes. It's flying away. There's another one up there. That's a hawk maybe. Yeah, there's like a giant hawk or a buzzard or something flying around out here. Look at that, there he goes. Just in case they have babies, I'm not gonna go over to that area. Even though there is a really cool kind of like Game of Thrones looking sculpture over there. That buzzer's flying around. Yeah, I don't want to go over there. There might be a nest. There is a nest. I don't want to bug them. This one here kind of reminds me of gravestones. Maybe that's what it's to represent. I'm thinking gravestones. When I see this, I think, I think of a cemetery. Again, though, you guys leave a comment down below. You guys let me know what you think about these. There's a bunch of feathers here. I'm thinking some hawk or the buzzard was definitely attacking some other animals. So I'm thinking maybe I should leave this area before I do some upon a buzzard's nest and uh, get attacked by by a bird. As great as that would be for a video, I'm thinking maybe I should probably try to avoid doing that and not be attacked. But I think that's gonna do it for this video because it is 
Again, extremely warm out. I did not bring any water, water with me. My mouth is getting parched and quite dry because it's about 100 degrees out right now. And I'm walking through this field of amazing sculptures in the heat. This one here reminds me of Beetlejuice. Look at that. These are too cool. So again, guys, Tobin Studios here in Quakertown, Pennsylvania, the studios of Steve Tobin, world famous sculptor. Come out here if you're in the Quakertown, Pennsylvania area, check these out. You can actually walk around the grounds. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free. You can just check out all the really cool and amazing sculptures. And like I said, every time I come out here, there's always some new sculptures, always some ones I haven't seen before. They're always adding new stuff. You can see some of these are being put together. Very cool. All right, guys, with that, like I said, I'm gonna let you go. So again, come out to Quakertown, Pennsylvania, check out the studio, of Steve Tobin, Tobin Studios. You can check out all these really cool things. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. If you're into art, this is definitely something you gotta see. But with that, like I said, we are gonna go. So as always, thank you all so much for checking this video out. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, check down below for different links, including Patreon. If you do become a patron, I will send you a post, a monthly, <laughs> my mouth is getting so dry. I will send you a monthly postcard from the road. If you do become a patron, also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt. We can grab yourself What's With Dave Today t-shirts. Proceeds both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon do go to help putting gas inside Vanabelle, which is parked right over there. So we can come out to fun and cool, interesting places like this. And also check down below for a link to my other channel, Cinema Sickness, for daily thrifting videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I will see you tomorrow if you hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, again, Tobin Studio, the studio of Steve Tobin, world-famous sculpture here. Did I say world-famous sculpture? World-famous world sculpture artist. I need a drink. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Get here quicker down. Check this out. All right, that's going to do it. Oh, uh, I should start bringing water with me, right? I do have a cooler in, inside of Annabelle. That'd be smart. Maybe the next video. Who knows? I'll see you tomorrow. We'll, we'll see if I bring water with me. Probably not. All right, bye.